anytime you think of manipulation, if you're thinking about hurting somebody else, you know, like, because you feel inadequate if you don't do it, then don't fucking do it. Stop being a manipulative fuck. We all have to do and just trust us to it. What is up guys? John Killingsworth here. Actually, I was gonna procrastinate this video, but uh, last minute I'm just like, fuck it, I can do it, right? And uh, before I start, I'm gonna give you some updates. I'm gonna release a new montage, April 13th on Friday. Uh, mark your calendar, it's gonna be a new POV montage. Today's topic for video is actually, uh, it's about manipulation. And you know, if you've seen my uh, videos on manipulation, uh, before you know like how to manipulate how to deal with a manipulator and all this shit You know, there's quite a series on that and there's a big problem with these is that many people they actually take the message of those videos the wrong way So what are they gonna do? They're gonna take the message from those videos and They're actually going to try to hurt somebody else and they don't actually Understand the nuances at play and what I'm actually tr uh, advocating with those videos I'm not advocating to hurt others. I'm not advocating to take revenge. I'm not advocating to make someone else's life worse To consequently make you feel a bit better about yourself and your situation What I'm actually trying to do is I'm just trying to help others self-defend you know self-defense psychologically uh, even physically in some cases some crazy narcissist trying to hunt you down and kill you literally with a gun or something you know so sometimes it's useful but other times it's just i, I read some of the comments of what people ask me and it it feels like they don't understand like the nuances so it's 100 percent my fault because i wasn't clear enough you know the problem with those books like robert green the 33 strategies of war the 48 laws of power is that they are amazing books but if you use them the wrong way, it'll ruin your life and ruin the lives of others around you. So I had this comment actually recently and she said, hello nameless, I literally just found your channel. Da, 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 da. She was trying to find a way to manipulate her passive aggressive husband, narcissistic husband. And she said she's been with uh, that man for about, I don't know, eight, nine years, something like that. And she's trying to find a way to manipulate him. Like you've been th with this person for eight, nine years. I think you should leave. <laughs> I don't think manipulating back would be the answer here. And in the case of your close relationships, um, you know, your relationships where it's supposed to be your sanctuary, where you're supposed to be comfortable, um, you know, live in harmony, be happy, right? In peace. If you go back home and anytime you go back home, you have to think about the next manipulation game that your your spouse is gonna play on you to make you do things you don't wanna do. I mean, is that a way to live? There, no, me, I do not want to propagate this. I don't wanna help people manipulate their uh, close relationships and stuff like that. Listen, I know, I know many of you that want to study manipulation have been dealing with narcissists. It's, it's a big community of people dealing with narcissists, and if you're dealing with one of them, okay, if one of them is one of your close relationships, you should probably leave, okay? Like, I've put a video on that before, like, what happens when you get manipulated? The first thing you do is you consider whether you should leave or not, okay? You're not thinking about how, well, how to strike back, okay? You know, all those, you know, the, those books and shit, they tell you, you know, how to how to attack others, you know, how to be offensive, how to, you know, win the war and shit like that, how to win power. But there's one law that you have to take into consideration. You have to choose your battles wisely, okay? You can't just get entangled in random little battles with your husband and do you really want to? No. No. Do you want to get entangled in little battles with your co-workers while you could just be polite and brush it off and, you know, just, just be chill and, you know, that's the best way, by the way, to get, you, you want to get revenge? Just be chill about it, right? Just be chill about it, polite. Don't let, don't give them your power by giving them all your attention. That's the best way. That's just... Focus on yourself. You know, anytime you think of manipulation, if you're thinking about hurting somebody else, you know, like, because you feel inadequate if you don't do it, then don't fucking do it. Stop being a manipulative fuck, right? Any of you guys that are thinking of destroying somebody else's life, why do you want to do that? 
Why do you want to make it worse for them? Why do you want to make the world a worse place than it is already? If you've been hurt, accept that you've been hurt. And instead of trying to fight back, okay, understand this hurt, make peace with it, forgive the other person, and work on yourself. Who the, why the fuck would you want to hurt another you narcissistic? Like, what the fuck? I don't get this uh, mentality. It's like, hurt this person again? What is that going to do to you, man? Conclusion is, choose your battles wisely. Getting entangled in little battles all the time is not a healthy way to live. There are certain battles that you will have to deal with that are inevitable, right? So, for example, dealing with some people that you will disagree with and the best counterattack, right, in quotes here, is to just ignore them, right? It's to just work on yourself. The less attention you give them, the better it is for you, right? I think the only times when you have to deal with manipulation with fire, right? Fire against fire is when you're dealing with, let's say, you're dealing with a legal case and uh, someone's trying to sue you or you're trying to sue someone, then you want to go on the offensive, all right? then that's okay. And if it's something serious, like life or death, or a lot of money on the line, then that's okay. If it's an abusive boss that's taking advantage of you and you're stuck there, then that's okay. If you're dealing with a bully that you try to talk to him, tell him like, hey, listen, I really don't appreciate this. I think we could be, you know, adults here. We could solve this, you know, not get entangled in this, in this and it still doesn't work then you could consider a counterattack. But in any other scenario, right? Any other scenario where it's like you're trying to cultivate your, your harm, like harmony and peace in your home, right? You know, your sanctuary, like your close friends, even your extended friends, man. Even the friends of your friends that maybe you're not that close with, those acquaintances. Why do you want to play some games on them? Don't use it as a weapon against the people you love, man. It's unhealthy. It'll only breed more resentment and misery in your life. And that is not what I want to preach on this channel. If you got this message that I'm about hurting others, then you got it wrong. I want to make this world a more conscious, loving place with people that are willing to face the truth and become better, not bitter, right? That's a big one. Become better, not bitter. So thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to click on the bell so you receive all my videos that I post every Monday and Friday. And leave your comments because I read every comment. And uh, don't forget, montage coming out on April 13th. So stay tuned. I'll see you next video. Peace.